All right, if you watched our one second shotgun challenge video, you know, I said I was going to do a review on this shotgun. Um, this is just a Remington 870 Express. This is just the, the, the cheap Express. This is the lowest price one you can buy, but I made a few modifications to it. Uh, put a coat of paint on there, Dura coat. It's nothing fancy, but it's something, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the stock is the, the, the Magpul SGA stock. I really like the stock because it's adjustable. You can make it fit you. There's spacers that come with it, four spacers, so you can adjust it from 12 and a half inches to 14 and a half inches as far as the length of pull. And the length of pull is the length of the stock, so you can really adjust it so that it fits you the right way. <clears throat> and also, separately, you can buy the cheek riser um, accessory. So if you have an optic on here, some type of scope, I don't know, maybe you're using this thing for hunting or something, you get a little better cheek weld with that cheek riser. I don't need it because I don't have an optic on there, but that is available. There's various points on here to attach a sling to. I'm using the Magpul piece right here. This is real easy to uh, to uh, mount when you're mounting the stock. With the forend here, <clears throat> with the forend it has these slots. These slots where you can use the M-lock attachments. And I use that M-lock attachment to attach this flashlight. This flashlight is an in-force flashlight. It's, it's held up pretty good. I put a lot of rounds through this gun with like slugs and buckshot, you know, heavy stuff, not birdshot or anything. And this flashlight is really held up good. Uh, I got the other Magpul attachment if you wanted to, instead of going single point sling, you could go, you know, two point sling. <clears throat> instead of having a, uh, I also have this shell holder, shell holder right here. This sticks on my Velcro. Aries Gear makes this. I know there's some other companies that make this. This is kind of convenient. If you don't want it on, you can just take it off as opposed to the ones where they're actually it's actually attached to the gun and if you got different kinds of ammo you can have different uh, of these card carriers here and uh, put different kinds of ammo and it's real easy to switch it out one other thing that i added that i really like <coughs> is this site that site if you can see it is made by xx x sites it's just a, it's a bigger site it's it's really your eyes really pick up the site quick and in the middle there's a tritium insert so it is um it is a, a night site as well I know this is not a super in-depth technical type review. This is just, I'm just letting you know the basic parts that I have on this gun. The biggest thing I would change, I think, is the stock. The stock has, has been the biggest improvement. The angle of the grip, it's not quite like a pistol grip, but it's not quite like a traditional shotgun either. It's somewhere in between. And the shotgun just, the stock just really fits, it really fits good. And again, like I said, you can adjust it to make you, make it fit you with the length of pull and the cheek riser. So I think if I had to do anything, that's one of the improvements I would do would be get this stock above uh, any other stock that I've seen. I've, I used to have those uh, pistol grip, you know, recoil reducing stocks. And to me, it felt like the recoil was harder with, with those stocks. So this is probably the biggest uh, improvement I would make. That sight is another big improvement. That sight, you really pick up that sight fast. That's another improvement that uh, if I was gonna change anything, I would probably change. Remember to check us out at 3631tactical on YouTube or 3631tactical.com for any Michigan-based CPL class. Thanks for watching.